printing mm -hmm. is an art. Whether it's on a t-shirt, a banner, or even a business logo, it's a local company who is doing all of the above. Yeah, Hannah Walker's learning more about it, a place called Tiny Fish Printing, to see how the job is done. Always interesting to see how things we wear or use get to be there, and uh, that's what Hannah's showing us this morning. Hey Doug, that's right. So take a take a look at this uh, House of Guitars shirts. This is an example of some of the stuff that Tiny Fish Printing makes. I'm here with Antonio Estevez. Uh, you're one of the owners, creators. Uh, what inspired you guys to start a printing company? Because I mean, there's got to be a lot of competition. There's a lot of competition. Uh, we saw that there was a need for higher end screen printing, uh, large no co uh, colors, numbers. Um, soft prints whereas a lot of the shops locally were catering to a different market so we we saw the underserved artist market then we decided you know we really need to to get a shop that artists can come to and get their prints done the right way and that's what you guys do a lot of you do a lot of artists a lot of bands a lot of groups events yep. um what has changed over the years i mean this place is bigger than i expected sure. when it came in sure when we started, we were just a couple of guys with a small press and a little, in a very small room <laughs> on a second floor of a rundown warehouse. And here we are six years later in a much bigger facility. And it's just, I think, word of mouth and people, you know, really focusing on the quality that resonated with the artists. And they told their friends who told their friends. And uh, now we're just, now we're just bigger and fancier, but we're still, yeah. we're still tiny fish out there in the screen. I like it. Word of mouth. Yeah. Okay. So this is the ink that we're going to use yes. we're actually going to mix some colors um to see how for one how good i am at mixing right. yikes uh and two to see what colors it comes up with right normally blue and yellow makes green we'll see which color green it makes we will see the okay. hand of green so do you want to hold on to the bottom yes. of this for me sure um, well we're going to take this one and okay. mix these two into here so okay so we we'll can just, pour we'll just scoop pour it on in okay there we go. It looks like icing. It is not icing. There Do we go. not eat That's this. That's probably enough. Yeah, seriously. And then we can pour a little water in there. Okay. So just no, to what's help what's just, the water going to do? It's just going to loosen it up a little, help us mix the color. All of it? No, it's good. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. This is. <laughs> this is oh. ew. I'm sorry. That's all right. Oh. It's going. It's working. This looks like kind of gross. Now, what what's the difference between a water based ink and a normal? This is so not. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I'm all right. Mix a it mess. up. That's all right. Really? Do you guys normally make a mess we, like this? We normally don't, but. Okay. <laughs> no, you'd That's be fired a... if you worked here. <laughs> but I'm, I'm working. Listen, I'm it's trying. Coming, it's coming along here. Okay. This is uh, a pretty color. The water based ink is nice because it actually penetrates the garment as opposed to laying the ink on top of the garment. So once it's dried and cured, you won't feel the print. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, you're all used to. Kind of wearing a shirt that feels almost stiff with the lettering. Right. So that's the nice thing about the water base. And the yeah, so, oh, I'm, right. <laughs> you know, you got to be glad that you're wearing the gloves. You're like, you know what? Your hand should be down here. Look you at should that. be getting messy. That oh, my gosh, that's along. nice. That's a really nice color. That's perfect for spring. So now after you do this, because you have tons of ink along the wall and things like that, how do you create the colors? Uh, we have a mixing system that we put in the color we're trying to get, the Pantone number. Okay. And it gives us a rough estimate of what pigments we need to make that color. Wow. And then the team here will just eyeball it for the last part of it to make sure it, it matches exactly what the, with what the customer's looking to get. Wow. I love this color green. This is cool. Hey, it kind of matches my dress, guys. It is, Doug, Doug like you said, it is kind of like I made my own dress today. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we come back, we're going to show you, after after I clean up <laughs> Antonio here, I look like I just <laughs> killed an ink machine. Uh, when we come back, we're actually going to show you how we're going to set up the press yep. in order to print our own T-shirts. So I'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. We'll be back in a little bit. We just got a call from the general manager. He says, don't get paint on the microphone. Yeah, the mic. Don't get paint on that, <laughs> oh, Hannah. Yeah. Very expensive. No, no paint on the... <laughs> you know, that green is one of my favorite color greens. I love green. That's nice. Do you? Green. I like green. Green mm -hmm. would be my favorite color, too. Is it really? Yeah. Do we have something in common? Yeah, let's, I'll change.